Hi, my lovely people. It is Friday. Who thank God that this week is coming to a close. It's been a long one. It's been a long cold one. So anybody going through cold weather and snow like we are here in Indiana, y'all bundle up. It is freezing and I know it because I feel it too. Now, we're going to get right on into this. Now, what I wanted to do was, like I said, you know, we always, Olivia is always over here playing the victim. This is one, again, that you want to watch to the end, okay? Because it's got some good receipts in it. But anywho, she always wants to play the victim and she wants us to feel bad for her. But I was watching a live that she did, if you guys remember, when they announced that uh, Gerard and Nisha were going to get married, right? And she kept saying, I don't care. I treated him like a woman. And remember, she used to say how she would talk to him and this and that. So, y'all, I went back, you know, uh -huh, into the archives. And I'm like, dang, Olivia used to dog Gerard out. She always constantly, okay, would question his manhood, question things that he was doing. And she always wanted him to look like the bad person. But she wanted to make herself look good. So, I'm like, let me go back and find some clips. So, I hope y'all enjoy this one right you know, here. You need to do more as a man. I protect you. I do everything. I didn't say you need to. No, I did not say that. I Let said be more protective me. over, if not me, then over your daughters. Are you serious? That's what I said. I had my baby. I had a fucking baby. I'm just saying in the future. Right. And when I said okay. that to you, you blew up. Because I, why you keep saying as a man, this is what I should do? I, know I didn't the fuck say I as a yes, man. Did. Okay. Yes, you did. I said as a man. Okay. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I get tired of hearing that shit. Like, what what more is that I need to do? I do every fucking thing. I feel like I do. I do enough. I do more than the average. And I feel that's how I am. My thing is, why? Why do you say those things? Why did you say that? As protective as, as I am. Oh, guys, no. Guys can creep women out just by talking okay, to them. Okay, but Ooh, wait. First off, don't ever, let me, let me, y'all, I can't even bite my tongue, so I'm going to say it how it is. When you're in a relationship, sometimes it gets rough and y'all may talk to each other like that. But at the end of the day, when you're dating a man, let a man be a man. See, that's a problem that a lot of these women don't understand about letting a man be a man. See, they think that by just having a man sitting there, that's a man. No, a man needs to work. A man needs to uh, provide a man needs to treat you like a woman a man needs to do a lot of things and we were seeing Gerard was doing that but Olivia didn't like when Gerard was being a man because to her him being a man and working protecting his children and uh doing for her that wasn't good enough oh no that one being a man she needed to be you know tattooed up she needed to have a man that was always going off on her and calling her names that's the ones we seen her bringing her home after she lost a good one okay and another thing that i found really funny in that clip is olivia is going off on him about oh you should be protecting your daughters more and this that and the third but he's protecting the shit out of them now right and you don't like it because, see, he came into the picture. He started protecting his children from the crap that you were bringing around. Now he has full custody. So, see, everything Olivia has asked for, she has gotten, right? Because she asked him, I want you to stand up for your children. You got two daughters. I don't want you to do this, this, and this. Now he done hit you with the shebang bang. He done stood up for him and got him away from you. And now you over here looking sad. Now, this next clip that I'm playing, I hope y'all can watch it, like look at it, because I want y'all to look at her face when Gerard talks. This shows that she cannot stand him. I want you to look at it and watch. That's from Costco. I think I'm going to go live. Need that big old bag to oh, my God. Yes. 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 Really? Yeah, uh-huh. Thank you. This is a prime example of you don't miss a good thing till it's gone. Y'all, did y'all see her face in there? That is the same face expression that is right here in this picture. When I tell you anything that this man said to her, she was like repulsed. She was just sickened. She didn't want to hear it. She wanted him gone. And now that he's gone, she doesn't know what to do with herself. See, this is my thing. I get so tired of hearing Olivia talk about, well, he took my kids. He did this. He did that. Well, when you was messing with him, he wasn't no chump. He wasn't no dead be dead. He was out there hustling. So therefore, you knew what you was dealing with, see? 
You knew what kind of man he was dealing with. You knew he was going to come for his children. You knew he was going to want to be a part of their lives. What you just didn't know was how serious he was about leaving you. See, Olivia thought, oh, yeah, he'll be mad. Mm-hmm. I'll move to Florida. I'll take the kids. He'll want to see the kids. Then he'll come running back to me. He'll come to Florida. We'll work it out. But see, she didn't realize when he uh, left, he was seriously done with her. You know, he was... uh. He was down the road, and Olivia was still singing, If you think you're lonely now, you know, uh, honey, wait until tonight. And she can't find anybody on POF or out here on these streets that can fill the void of a good man. And see, out of all the mommies, one thing we can say that we have seen her with, like, I can't say that for Chrissy. I can't say that for Jasmine. I can't say that for a lot of them that I react on, Ileana and all them. But with Olivia, we can say this. You had a good man, and now he's gone. And sometimes, like I tell people, two people can be good people, but just not good when they're together. But in this case, I think we have one good person, and we have one rotten to the core person. And now we're just seeing that when she has to stand alone, how rotten to the core she actually is. And now she's... <laughs> Now she over there renting small bounce houses. She is over there spinning out of control. She's drinking out of red paper cups. I mean, what in the hell? These women can't afford a dish set. Do y'all need a sponsored dish set? Why are they always eating off paper plates and paper spoons and drinking out of paper cups? I, I mean, I thought that kind of stuff was used for parties. But once again, I could be wrong. See, these are things that I look at. Uh, I look at the whole spectrum of things. It's like, if you're going to get on here and you're going to say, oh, I'm that bitch. Well, okay, let me tell you something. That bitch, she's going to have a dish set. I mean, Dollar Tree sells dishes. You can buy you a, a good old glass plate for $1.25. And then you could, uh, for $10, girl, you could go in there and grab you five plates, five bowls. I mean, but, you know, that's that shit that she thinks that she's doing over there. Y'all, mm-mm. We can't make that up. I cannot wait to see because I know those videos are really old. What you guys thought about that, especially the one when she is just dirty looking him and stink eyeing him. I really can't wait to see what you guys think about it. I'm going to keep doing videos like this. I'm going to go over and grab some on Jasmine to upload um, a little bit later. We'll, you know, do the whole My Shabby Life. I'm letting you guys know I got a lot of content that I need to get out here on these YouTube streets. So bear with your girl because I may be uploading back to back to back all day long, all weekend. So just know one thing. You will have content. I'm going to try and push a live out and a premiere. So I will see you guys down in the comments and I will see you on live or in a premiere. Keep your notifications on. I love y'all and I will see you guys later.